Welcome to Agenda Edina, a program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. Working toward the city's vision of an energized France Avenue, Luigi Bernardi plans to raise a multi-story office building at 6950 France Avenue and replace it with a high-end, single-story retail building called the Shops at Estelle. The building design features extra-large showroom windows for tenants on all four sides. The proposed building would have three entrances to the retail space that face France Avenue and the parking lot to the west. It'll be obviously much more visible uh, and much more uh, exciting and I think uh, it'll be a great addition to already some of the other retail buildings that have been built in here. The City Council at a meeting last month approved the site plan and set back variances for the project. To improve the water quality of Lake Cornelia, the city will install a 30-foot vegetated buffer with wood chip trail around part of it. Existing parkland will be converted from conventional turf and buckthorn to a vegetated buffer along the west side of the south basin of Lake Cornelia, adjacent to West Shore Drive and Laguna Drive. So we're looking for areas really throughout Edina, uh, but Lake Cornelia has some impaired water uh, conditions. So this, this project at that site will reduce uh, nutrient runoff in that lake, which will reduce the uh, algae blooms that cause issues throughout the summer. Besides clean water benefits, the project promotes native plants to support wildlife, including pollinators, and management of invasive buckthorn. It also supports sustainability goals as native landscapes require less mowing, which means savings in labor and equipment, fewer carbon emissions, and a more resilient landscape in a changing climate. The project will be paid for through the city's stormwater utility fund and a grant from the Nine Mile Creek Watershed District. It will be included in a citywide natural areas maintenance contract to be bid next winter. It's a game popularly played in England, India, Australia, and now Edina. Cricket is the summer's hottest new sport, and the city's Parks and Recreation Department is hosting a series of open sessions to teach it to residents. Edina TV's Dietrich Nissen takes us to Braemar Field to check out a recent open session. Oh. Holding open sessions, like this one at Braemar Field, gave people like Emily Bannister a chance to learn the second most popular sport in the world. Gives anybody the chance to try something and they don't have to be an expert at it. A lot of people who like baseball and softball, this is just another alternative. It's a game that at first glance could be mistaken for either. After all, you've got batters, outfielders, and a pitcher. Oh, that's out. The goal is to, to introduce the sport to people that haven't played the sport before and to give an opportunity to people that are playing the sport, give them a place to play. After receiving numerous calls about using Edina's baseball fields for cricket, Recreation Supervisor Tiffany Bushland wanted to take it a step further and teach people the game. The goal is to just create some buzz around the sport, get people involved, um, give an opportunity to people that want to play the sport, but also provide that opportunity for something uh, that's new. But thankfully, it's not new to members of the Strikers Cricket Club of Eden Prairie, who provide each session's instruction. Uh, the other team bowls, they can set their field wherever they need to. It's just an open gym type event, so anybody that is interested in the sport can come, learn the game, and play a little bit. And with more people showing up for each session, the number two sport in the world may become the number one sport right. in Eden. Good ball. Good hit, Dave. Everybody's out to have a good time. It's it's. It's not competitive, at least not until we get, you know, a couple hundred people <laughs> who are like getting good at it or something. In Edina, Dietrich Nissen, Edina TV. The city is planning more open cricket events this summer and fall and will continue to support the program into next year. If you're interested in joining the next open cricket event, it will be at 1 p.m. on August 17th at Braemar Field. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.